Welcome back. It's report card time for ODU football. We saw a ton of good and unfortunately a ton of not so good in the Monarchs 24 to or 27 to 24 loss to Wake Forest. Let's start with the offense. C plus. I say that questioningly because listen, you didn't score in the first or the first qu fourth quarters, but you went to the locker room up 17 to nothing at halftime. But let's run through the offensive series for ODU in that second half. Punt, punt, fumble, punt, turnover on downs. You feel bad for somebody like Grant Wilson, too, in a game like this because he had great moments, but that Wake Forest defense and that defensive line was top tier. They sacked him 10 times. They picked him off. It wasn't a terrible day, but it wasn't a good day. C-plus is my grade, but I guess I could be swayed either up or down here. With the defense, again, totally torn because you shut out an ACC school in the first half, but you were outscored 27-7 to in the second. Regardless, I'm giving it a B. And here's the main reason. I think the offense not being able to stay on the field in the second half played a huge factor. Listen, Wake Forest had 34 minutes of possession time this game, and you got to remember that the game-winning touchdown for the Demon Deacons came off a Grant Wilson fumble. So, yes, did Wake Forest score against the defense to win the game? Sure, but kind of hard to do much when you're pinned back in your own red zone from the jump. And the defense had two interceptions and a fumble recovery, which, by the way, two of those were a pick six and a scoop and score. Give me a B. Here's a new one this week, a growth grade. This is not the same ODU team we saw in Virginia Tech. This is not even close to the same ODU team we saw last year, not even in the same stratosphere. This is a learning experience for them, and it would have been a win or lose. It would have been win or lose because this is a great program to test yourself against. So for growth, A+. Plus. Listen, bottom line, the game slipped away, but you got to learn from a game like this. And what I take away from this game is that the Sun Belt should be on a little bit of notice here. This team has played two ACC schools tough, one of which is undefeated this year. And yeah, it kind of stinks a little bit that they lost. But overall, it's not bad because this is a team that I think totally shines in conference play. So overall, I'm going with B minus here. I'm pumped to see what happens not only next weekend against Texas A&M Commerce when they break out those awesome, sweet uniforms for homecoming, but also what happens when they dive into the meat of their conference play throughout the rest of the season. B+.